Hey everyone, got something interesting today. A tool that was recommended to me by some people who follow my hobby page to help with uh, when you're disassembling your brick sets and your Lego sets and your other whatever sets. Think of it as um, what's supposed to be a safe plier tool. If you were to use these, you would damage your pins for sure. If you ever had really sore hands after building or, or taking apart a build, you probably had to resort to some other means like these tools. Not good. They will damage your, your Lego and your brick toys. So I took the plunge on something I saw for five bucks on AliExpress. Assuming this is exactly what I hope it is. You can find them between four, four dollars and ten dollars Canadian. Ships with the standard e-pack, e-packet kind of mailer crap. And let's see what you got here. Pin removal, showing all the different pin types you can presumably remove safely. Lots of uh, words here I don't recognize, I'm not being Chinese. Comes in assortment of colors, I assume I chose the blue one. I don't honestly recall. Pin removal tool. Yeah, let's see for the. Uh, that'll be a little closer, I guess. There. But yeah, this was about five bucks in AliExpress. Let's, let's see what you get. <laughs> Go figure. You gotta build the tool. Ah, Ban Bao Company. Not the greatest rep. And we've got well, spring loaded. Hmm. Well, let's open it up before I judge it too harshly. Not sure there's a tear away. Just gonna move these actual Lego elements over. So there's our toxic little plastic baggies. Dispose of them properly. Alright, so we have no instructions, but this looks pretty dummy proof. Okay, that's a rubberized plastic. For the gripping sur <laughs> surface. Mm -hmm. And clearly, that's the way it should go. That'll do that. And the spring. Let's see. Smart guy that I am. All right. Boy, I can see that spring popping out. Might help if I get it all the way in. Doesn't look like it's all the way in. Come on. All right, we will try this again. Okay, that looks good. All right. Pretty simple assembly. get this right oh, okay so it's either dead on or I broke it okay so we got a spring-loaded plier multiple grip points looks like an axle uh, let's call it a pusher outer for a technical term cross axle and I have a couple of pieces of probably pretty familiar looking Technic and let's see if this passes the test. I'm going to try like this first. 
Oh, that was pretty pain free. I got pretty good size hands too, so that's that's not bad. I'm a little worried about breaking it, being you know cheap plastic stuff, but all right. Let's see about this. Oh, I like that. Wish it would drop right out, but let's see. Oh, that could be a game changer. Pretty quick. Nope. Oh, it grabbed the uh, cross axle blue pin. Very good. All right. That's just one pass, though. Let's see. Oh. Still doing okay. Could turn this into a co. Ooh. Turn it into a contest. Ooh, all right. Side by side cross axle pins. Oh, one, two. Look at that. That made pretty short work because I have used one of these and I have damaged more than one or two pins over the years. That was pretty cool now. I'm just going to try the uh, cross axle push piece here. If I were to just. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That is perfect. Now, it'll probably be a much fairer test if I actually put a cross axle on something. Do I have anything handy, handy, handy? Let's see. Well, we've got that. So I got a red cross hole. Put that there. We we'll just put this between something so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, shouldn't be an issue. Piece of cake, and then you take it from the other side. Oh boy. Well, I like that, folks. Five to ten bucks, four to ten bucks, AliExpress, probably on other Chinese selling sites, Alibaba, whatever. But for uh, five bucks out of pocket, I'm liking that a lot. Kind of neat that it has all the Technic holes in it. I wonder. Oh my goodness, you could actually put pieces in there if you really wanted to. <laughs> that's too much oh and you got the other side too if for whatever reason you want to push against a cross axle you do have that let's see if I right there so you could push it you know it's in there now so you could definitely push against an axle if it was there all right that is definitely going to live beside this tool. Five bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Apparently made by Ban Bao. I'm pretty sure you could find a lot of dirt. Apparently made in 2018. So it's been around a while. Pin removal tool. Didn't test it with all of these, but um, I'm not seeing an issue for the one or two others that I didn't test it with. The only thing is, I don't see anything handy. But I'll get back to you if I find any issues with it. But I mean that that pass with flying colors. These pins. I can't imagine there being any other issues, especially since I was able to grab the... Oh, hey, look, there's a little blue one that I didn't test. Come on. Those ones drive us nuts, those little half pins. Can I get it out? Mmm. Can't grip it. Mm, let's try this one. No. Can't do it, can't do it. Or at least not enough. Now, of course, it can be pushed out, and that's fine. But I mean, the brick separator will do that for you too. But uh, yeah, just not enough surface for this rubberized 
plastic in the grip. Then you could grab it like that. Oh, you know what? It's still passing my book because it's going to relieve some hand cramps. Look at that. Super easy. Maybe I'll have to build the uh, Mac Anthem soon, 2,500 pieces, because I know I'm going to build it both ways. That means I'm going to have to take it apart. That's going to help me out. All right, I just wanted to share that as an oddity I got today with a bunch of other stuff. That's the only thing I feel like sharing. All right, thanks a lot. Cheers.